Oh. Zeke. Oh. Whoa, oh, that was sick. Nice. Damn, that was a good way. That was the best way I've seen since the contest has been on. We're going back, uh, getting a couple of snapper boards ready because it's looking a little small at Winky. Round one's on, a little bit on shore, but there's some little rippable ones, so yeah, it's on. Fire it up. <laughs> got my headphones, I got my wax. We got the Mad Steez wetsuit. We got surfboards, we got fins. I think we're good. Let's go. Let's see here. Need to make a new playlist for bells. We got some here. Maybe we're gonna listen to... Ooh, I like this one. Omission by the Magpie Salute. Do if I can get my seatbelt on. Alright, we're out of here. Bell's beach looks like someone hit the sign. Someone hit that thing. Wasn't me, I promise. That looks like Ronnie Blakey. Oh, it's Kanoa. Look at his bleach blonde hair. I thought it was juicy. Alright, guys. No worries. Well, see you later. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, Zay. Good job. Jeez. Thanks, Connor. It's actually really fun. I want to see some big hacks from Connor today. Up and lowers. And Connor's going to be wearing the Fruity Pebbles wetsuit. So he's going to be looking extra spicy and flavorful. So I really do want to be jazzy. What's your favorite kind of lolly to eat at a concert? Okay, there it is. Lots of red. Julian, a 5.4. So situation with Tech. Ron Callan and the weird party. Pretty tricky, the old straight backhand air. Yeah, it's particularly tickly downwind. As well. Ooh, yeah, well, Gabby's gonna grab this. Here we go. Gabby doing a big section ahead of him here. Just tags it. Oh, very solid my turn. Blam, 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 blam. <laughs> blam, Coach, uh, Arena Sainz will be okay, get that one back. Wow, that was a slow heat. Well, that was like, wow. Good but well. unfortunately, it was Thanks. forced to withdraw Let's from the Rift Girl Pro this year. Do Some do of the whatever injury. I caught, I only caught uh, two waves. Before the Gold Cup, it was really <laughs> aggravated at three seconds this yeah. week. So it's always nice when you back in California, rehabbing, and hopefully we'll see him back in action in Bali for the Corona Bali protected at Karamas. So, Griff. Picking up your mate. Good luck. I'm so hungry. <laughs> I haven't really like eaten much all day. Stoked to get through round one though. It's always nice to get through when the waves are tricky. Let's go get warm. Cool. Thank you. No worries. Have a good one. See you soon. Yeah, see you tomorrow. How's it going? How you doing? Uh, well, we came down. We're here. 
in Bells and have a lay day. So Micra set up this rad opportunity to get a refresher on CPR um, with a couple of folks here from the WSL medical team that unfortunately yeah. have to deal with this all the time. And uh, since we're in the water bunch, it's important to learn about it. And um, hopefully we don't have to use it, but it's good to be fresh and know the right steps to take to save someone's life. We work here at the WSL for six years or so now. Um, seen a few hairy things, um, including some resuscitations from drowning. Um, and I'm really passionate about this. Yeah, these are the resource masks we use. Um, when when somebody's not breathing, um, pretty easy to tell. You can just put a hand on their chest, you'll feel rise or call, lack of rise or fall. You put your ear down, so you just act, you're actually listening for excited uh, air. And if you feel anything, you'll feel it on your cheek as well, like that sort of warm breath. If there's nothing there at all, then that's when you start to give them your rescue breaths. Um, basically, this mask covers the whole mouth and the nose and provides a bit of seal. And the tighter that seal, the more effective the breathing, uh, the more effective the breath that you're going to get into them is. You want to extend their neck slightly. A bit controversial as well but in the case of C-spine injuries, but airway always trumps C-spine. Someone's not breathing, doesn't matter if they're fractured or not. You need to get oxygen in. Um, basically, hold off like that. Better way this guy's chest is going to rise and fall with appreciable benefit. You can see a bit. And then just two volume breaths. Um, the next thing you're looking for is kind of signs of life. So a lot of people will feel for a carotid pulse, but when you're in that high adrenaline scenario where you're probably feeling your own pulse more than anything else, it can be really hard to feel. It can actually be really hard to feel whether someone's still got a little bit of a pulse, but it's really, really um, thready. So what I say is if you've not given them, if you've given them two breaths and they're not really doing much, they're literally floppy, pale, blue, that sort of thing. They're, that's a lack of sign of life. If you start doing CPR and they start to wake up and push you off, then you know you've established that they've got a pulse. <laughs> so it never hurts to try. Um, and you won't, you probably will break ribs. And if you're breaking ribs, that means you're doing it effectively in terms of how strong you need to be. Um, but that's fine. We can deal with broken ribs. We can't deal with someone who's dead. Um, so when you do CPR, basically you're looking at the breastbone or the sternum. Okay? You want to be bang in the middle. You want to have your, the heel of your palm, so most of your um, power is going through that. You want to lock that before um, your um, elbow and lean over the patient. If you're trying to do it from up here, you can see I've got like no power. <laughs> so you really want to get over the patient. Some people straddle them, <laughs> some people get them down on the ground as low as they can. Whatever you can do to give yourself that power advantage. I lock both hands over like that so I don't move. And you're basically pressing to a third of the depth of the chest. Um, and you can see I'm actually pivoting forward and using my um, body weight to get over the patient. And that's really important. But the most important thing is the CPR. Like I said earlier, the people who survive cardiac arrest with their brains intact are the ones who've had their arrest recognised early. They've had CPR started early, and they've had good quality CPR, and they've had minimal interruptions to their CPR. And good CPR, you should actually feel a bit of a pulse because you are the heart. We do that even at work. If someone's doing compression, someone will check and say you're getting really good circulation. But I wouldn't get too caught up in vital signs either. I'd just be keep going because they'll start kicking you off. They'll Once. moan, they'll groan, they'll move. Yeah. Those are the, and that's when you know you've actually got a good circulation because there's blood getting to the brain. I've always been a little bit like at the beginning, so when you go to do two rescue breaths, like before you kind of started doing CPR. Mm -hmm. Do you, like if those breaths don't go in, do you need to clear the airway before, like try to get the airway clear yep. before you start doing CPR? Yep. And um, what are the steps to that? Yeah, so what, we, what we'll do when we split up in a minute is I'll get Chelsea to do the CPR side of things and I'll do the airway side of things. Okay. There are a couple of maneuvers. So first and foremost, you can actually roll somebody over on their side, particularly yeah. if it's water, that should drain with okay. gravity. The other thing you can do to open their airway is to pull their chin down and literally just open their mouth up, okay? And that way you can see if there's anything in there. Um, you can use your fingers with a two finger sort of scoop just to push out, particularly if you're actually over on your side and that should get whatever's in there out. Um, and that's about it. So the obstruction of the airway is literally just like right here? Yeah, so it will be either something in their mouth or okay. something in their throat. But with gravity, it should come forward and drain. And to be there. Honest, so if you wanted to, you'd roll them on the side like that to clear the airway. Okay. But I, 
would you, if you go like that, you wouldn't necessarily see what would come out, right? If it's water, then you may not actually see much. Yeah. It might be that actually roll in low, but you get something. Yeah, something. Okay, just a quick one. Yeah. Okay, and then if you get the stuff out, do we need to wipe this one off? I've wiped it off. I've been doing it. I've been doing it. I've been doing it. I've been and that's the one we check for vitamins. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. A little bit on the fast yeah. side. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Some people do it, but they don't nine, actually like. Yeah, perfect. Um, let the chest come all the way up. Awesome. Oh. Well done. Thanks. <laughs> and we're like a full cycle. Sweaty. <laughs> of CPR. Is Get like in there. We learned how to do CPR. Learned how if you find someone drowning, uh, having a heart attack, had a heart attack, unconscious, kind of just the steps you go through to get them back to life, which is um, check their airway, um, get a couple rescue breaths in, see if you can get those to go in. If not, then you just go straight into chest compressions. And uh, 32 is the magic ratio of 30, uh, 30 compressions and two breaths, and hopefully you have someone else working with you so you don't even have to stop the compressions and keep going until you get them to come back. Get the ambulance on the way too. Hopefully we don't have to use it. Oh, gotta grab my parts. What a day. Try to go find a little lay day wave with Crow and the crew. If I can unlock the car. That looks like fun right now. Pops on down at Winky. They're running the rest of men's round one and girls' round one, but I'm gonna sneak out to the bowl and try a couple of six O's. Going down the bell stairs for the first time we've been here, that's pretty cool. Gotta get some tingly feelings going. <laughs> pretty sick, all the world champs, uh, no, all the champs of the contest line the stairs as it goes down. Pretty cool homage. Here's the guy right here. TC. 